I've had this car camping setup for two years now. The gear has changed over time, so I wanted to give you an updated tour for 2023. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Hawkins Sager and I'm an outdoor adventurer based in Utah. And this is my car camping setup. It's so awesome that I was able to convert my everyday vehicle into something that can take me on so many different adventures. Let me give you the tour. We'll start with the vehicle itself. This is the 2020 Hyundai Tucson. It's just the base trim, which means there's no roof rails or fancy interior features. Sometimes I wish I got a vehicle with a little bit more space or built-in roof rails, but you'll see how I work around that in this tour. I'm going to start with the platform itself. Right here, we have a platform made out of almost all plywood with a few other pieces too, and it's 9 inches tall. If you want to see how I built this, I'll link a video in the description that you can check out. And then as you can see underneath, we have two cubbies for storage. You may think you want to do more storage and raise this even higher, but you definitely have to consider about taking away your sleeping space. I think this is the perfect happy medium for this vehicle. On the right side of the build, I usually store a blanket and then my large storage tote which holds all kinds of food, as well as a few cooking gear things. And on the left side, we have the most recent addition to the build. If you haven't seen that video, I made a video very recently on building this drawer. So this will pull out, and I store all sorts of cooking gear here. My stove usually goes in here, pans, utensils, all of that stuff. Moving on top of the platform, this is the bedroom area. This is where we sleep. We have a four inch tri-fold mattress. This is a twin size mattress that fits perfectly in here. And then I just have some blankets. We sometimes use sleeping bags and other stuff to keep warm. All right, we're over here on the side of the car now. We have more storage underneath the platform. Usually we'll use chairs or blankets, anything can go under there. And then behind the front seats at the last two supports, which is where our heads are when we sleep. Under here, I usually have firewood, camera gear, and other hiking supplies. If you didn't yet notice, the seats are pushed all the way forward to accommodate this sleeping platform. That's what you have to do to be able to fit this size mattress in here. That's okay, I designed the platform to be on a piano hinge, so when we're not using it, we can just fold the one piece back and push the seats so we can drive where we need to go. And then lastly, at the front of the car, because the seats are pushed all the way forward, there isn't much room, but this is usually where we keep our clothes and toiletries and stuff. A few additional pieces of gear. When I'm at camp, I usually have a table set up with my stove. We also have a cooler for all the stuff that needs to be kept refrigerated or frozen. And then we have a water jug here too for drinking water and washing dishes. And then there's two chairs that we usually will have set up either around the table when we're eating or by the fire when we're enjoying ourselves and having some s'mores. All right, now we're up here on the roof and this is the last thing I wanna show you. So I've had these for a while. These are Yakima Bear System roof rack. As a reminder, my vehicle doesn't have roof rails so I had to go this route. And it actually works extremely well. They're very stable. I don't feel nervous putting any kind of roof box or ski rack up here. Onto the roof box, this is another new addition. I used to store everything inside my car, but we went on a trip to Moab last month and we were packed into the car. So it was really time to upgrade the storage. So now I have a Tule roof box. So up here is where I'll put a mattress, my tent, and other pieces of gear that don't fit in the car. At camp, we also keep the bathroom supplies up here. When you're dispersed camping, you don't have toilets that you can go to, so you need to go in the wilderness. So I got my trowel, toilet paper, some hand sanitizer and other things for cleaning up. So yeah, that about wraps up the tour of my SUV car camping build. This thing has served me incredibly well. It really removes the friction about me worrying about a place to sleep or worrying about comfort at all, which just allows me to get out on the road and explore and focus on having fun. If you have any questions about gear or wanna see a more in-depth look at a specific piece of gear, leave them in the comments down below. I also have linked videos in the description about how I built this setup, the build of the drawer, and so many more different things. And lastly, if you wanna see more car camping content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.